Hi everyone, thank you for watching. This is Angelica, how are you today? Today's video is called Affirmations, Do They Work? Okay, so um, I had this question a long time ago when I first started coming into my spiritual awakening and um, started, you know, learning about all the things you learn about when you are awakening. Um, so what I'll do is I'll just let you know about the affirmations that I've done and show and tell you, explain to you how they have worked over time for me. So, um, and that's all I can do in these videos is explain my own experience in hopes that my experience will, you know, maybe I'll say something that will help you or, you know, you'll try affirmations because of, you know, what my experience was. And so then, then you'll know, um, you'll have an easier time with it and, and, and being more like having more faith and actually just trusting the process of certain, you know, things like affirmations. Okay. So in the beginning of my awakening, um, I started realizing, um, that I didn't love myself. Okay. So, and this is one of the big things that you come to realize through the spiritual awakening. Um, now, I didn't know I didn't love myself at all. In fact, I thought I loved myself just fine before this, um, before it started becoming really clear, more into it, um, about the way that I was just treating myself, my body, um, you know, not eating completely correctly, just not treating myself with full respect and love like I needed to be. So I could tell that I wasn't loving myself fully. Um, so I made an affirmation about it and I would say it every day to myself in my head. Um, I can't remember the affirmation exactly because this was years ago. And so I just remember writing it in and putting in like a little box or, or some little thing, you know, I just, I like doing little things like that. So, um, but but it's something that I would say over and over and over and over again to myself. Now, the thing about an affirmation is you want it to pass by the logical mind so that it can really sink deeply into your subconscious. That's when it becomes a reality for you, and that's when it starts like just playing out in your life without you thinking about it. Um, so. I would say the affirmation to myself all the time. And now I can say that I fully love myself. And, you know, maybe the day will come when I awaken more and I'm like, wow, I need to love myself even more. You know, I'm sure that the that love is infinite and it goes on forever and you just start realizing more and more. I'm not sure, but in comparison to where I was prior, I love myself so much better. And I do stuff for myself that um, helps me. Um, now I'm a really caring and giving person, so I, I'm, I'm always like doing things for other people. And so sometimes I can get run down. I can forget to, you know, do those things for myself that I need to do to make sure that I'm feeling good. But for the most part now, I know there's certain things I have to do for myself to make sure that I feel happy, that I feel good and that I can, you know, help take care of other people because that's what I like doing. Um, okay, so that affirmation worked. My second affirmation, actually, this affirmation um, I would do because I've always kind of, I've always been, you know, in, well, since my awakening, I've been into running, um, also hiking, walking, um, yoga, anything that gets my body moving. And so these are the times that I really like to um, infuse my subconscious mind with the affirmations. <clears throat> This particular affirmation um, was about balancing my my right and my left sides. And this could even go on to being the right and left sides of the brain, um, the masculine feminine aspects of your um, personality. There's lots of ways that this could play out. But what happened to me is I actually had a physical injury when I was 17. I got into a really bad car accident um, and had injured my, my left leg. And so it like hit the steering wheel or something happened. I don't know, but it, 
So it was, I started compensating for that and I started walking more on my right. Now, um, being a massage therapist and, um, you know, working with people um, and their injuries and stuff like that in the past, um, I realized that people that usually are right-handed would, would kind of, you know, tend to favor the right side and walk on the right side or more anyway. But I think this was even, even more. So anyway, to the point is that I would, when I would run or walk or whatever, or do my yoga or try to balance my left and my right. So I would say my left and my right sides are in perfect balance. And so this is a short, simple affirmation that actually has worked over the years. Um, now it's not fully, completely, you know, exactly perfect, um, but it's, it's a lot better. It's a lot better. And um, <clears throat> so this is another affirmation that has helped me and worked for me. You want to keep your affirmation short. You want to like, obviously, um, you know, you don't want to do this really, really long affirmation. Although I did have an affirmation about, okay, now I'll explain this one. So you you know, to, to keep it simple for your brain and your mind and let it allow it to go in easily, just keep the affirmation short, sweet, and simple and only do one at a time, you know, until that one's fully integrated. And that could take months, that could take years sometimes before you start adding on more. But you know when your subconscious mind has it, when you just start to, you know, memorize it and you actually feel it within your body. You're like, wow, I do feel balanced. Wow, I do love myself. Okay. This affirmation is a really long affirmation. I actually read about it in one of those, you know, science of the mind type of books. Um, I can't remember the guy's name. It wasn't like, it was power of your subconscious mind, something, something along those lines. Like, you know, those people that think that your mind is like, you know, and I, I like, I like those books. I, it's not the full truth, but it's, it, they're cool. So I read um, that book and I read a story about a guy in there who was like, either recovering from a really serious like disease or illness or he was um, paralyzed something really bad <clears throat> he had like a twisted spine scoliosis something that was like really hard to like recover from and he said this one affirmation and completely healed himself from his his whole thing from doing this one affirmation and it was I am whole perfect strong powerful loving harmonious and happy and I was like wow Okay, that's cool. I would like to be all those things, but that's a really long affirmation. Okay, that's a lot to say to yourself and have it like stick. So what I did is I made it into a song. And I would sing the song to myself all the time when I was running, walking, whatever. Usually I like doing action things when I'm saying my affirmations. Um, I, I tend to think that they kind of go in better that way because then your critical mind is kind of settled down. Your logical mind is kind of backing off a little bit so that these things can kind of come through. So I would sing my little song and, you know, um, then hopefully the, the affirmations were going through. Um, and yeah, I'm whole, perfect, strong, powerful, loving, harmonious, and happy. And so for the most part, I can say that that's true about myself. Now, when I first started saying it, I was like, no. I'm no, none of these things are me, you know, um, they might've been, I don't know, but I didn't necessarily quite believe them all fully. Um, and that is why I wanted to do the affirmations, obviously. <laughs> Let's see. <clears throat> okay. So the last affirmation, now I'm just going to put out some examples out there. I don't want to go too long with this video. Um, and you know, I just like to keep them kind of shorter, but, um, the last affirmation is about, I use this affirmation when I'm parking and, um, you know, I, I try to take my kids to the park as much as I can. Um, we have, we live by a beautiful um, park and lake and um, I, my older boys, they, they don't really like going anymore, but I try to get them to go anyway and, um, you know, walk with me and stuff like that. So Anyway, if you go on the weekends, it's so packed. So they have parking on the street, then they have another parking lot that's totally full, then they have the next level, it's full, this row full, 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 all the way up to the front. Well, whenever I go there, I always park right up front in the front row every single time. But when I take them 
they're like, oh, you're never going to find parking, especially my older one. He's like, oh, no, it's totally full. You should park down by the street. And I'm like, no, 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 no. We're going to park right up front. And um, I'm like, please don't talk so I could do my affirmation and I'll get us a front row spot. So um, I do this affirmation and it is all of life comes to me with ease, joy, and glory. And that's a that's an affirmation that I got from Access Consciousness, and um, they, they do a form of energy work um, where, uh, well, the guy, Dane here, he, he, does, he was a chiropractor, and now he does some sort of energy work. He works with energies, and um, then the guy, Gary, I think his name his, his, is his name, he got transmitted or downloaded with this information about this certain kind of energy work from, I think, from a different planet, a different star system, but he doesn't necessarily say that, but they teach this energy work, and it's called Access Bars, if you're ever interested, and I actually went and learned how to do it, and I can do this particular energy work, and it's kind of like cranial sacral therapy. No, it's not like cranial, it's, it's different, but cranial sacral is where you actually um, separate the sutures of the of the skull and release the energy, but this is a little bit different. This is acupressure on the head, and um, it's, it takes about an hour, hour and a half, and it completely relie releases all the energy patterns, thought forms, everything that you have going on, so you come out of the session very, very free and very um, light, and, you know, just with a lot of those things removed. I mean, similar to meditating for a long time. It's, you know, different, but it's a great modality. Anyway, that affirmation comes from what they teach at Access Consciousness, and it's called, um, or and the, the affirmation goes, all of life comes to me with ease, joy, and glory. And I have no idea why I picked this up and decided to use it for parking, but that's exactly what, it, what I do. And so, you know, um, on this one particular day, I'm like, can you please not talk so that I could do my affirmation and watch what happens? And we pull right up to the front and I do my little affirmation in my head. But you can't do your affirmation in a tense place thinking it's not going to work. Because if you do that, it, you're, you're going to have the reverse effect. You're going to get a lot of resistance within you and you're not going to, nothing's going to manifest. So you have to say it with an easy... Like, all of life comes to me with ease, joy, and glory, and boom, somebody pulls out and backs out, and we get a parking spot. It works 95% of the time. Um, I was at Whole Foods a few days ago, and it was really packed, and they have a small parking lot, and our little one over here, where, where I live by, they have a smaller Whole Foods, and... Um, and I don't know, in conversation with the cashier, he said... Oh, yeah, how did, oh, I said, oh, it's busy today, you know, and he said, yeah, you know, how'd you find parking? And I was like, oh, I just say an affirmation, and then I can park right up front. And he thought that was really I, interesting, I'm sure. <laughs> I'm sure nobody's ever said that to him before. Anyway, um, so I just got the idea to do this video in hopes that maybe affirmations can help you keep it short keep it simple keep it sweet keep it easy for your mind to take in do one thing at a time you know at, at there was a certain point in my life where i had like this long list of all these affirmations because you know when you're first coming into your awakening you do have a long list of things you want to you want you know you need to fix and heal within yourself and so you know i had this list too and, um, you know, I like to make lists and plans and all this stuff. And so from my list of of things that I wanted to fix or heal or change or get, you know, acquire or, you know, learn, whatever it was, I don't even remember, but I would just attach little affirmations to each one of them. And then I'm like, okay, I'm going to say all these affirmations. And, okay, if you do that, you won't accomplish anything at all. The best advice that I can give someone who's knows, you know, because there's all these aspects to a whole person. And I am writing a book on this, and I know that my book was supposed to be out a while ago. But the problem is, is that I, um, I kind of, I, 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 I kind of took it in a different direction. And so, because I want it to be uh, like useful to people, and I want them to really gain. Um, what they need to gain from it. So I'm still working on it, but it is coming. And um, 
anyway. There's there's a there's there's all these aspects. There's five aspects to people and their lives. You know, the spirituality, physical health. Um, you know, your work that you put out there in your life. Um, emotional health, mental health. There's all these aspects to a whole person. And so I understand that in the beginning of this process, there may be things, or maybe you don't even have these, aren't noticing these things yet. Maybe you're at that point in your journey. I didn't realize all these things until a few years in, or maybe four or five, where I'm like, wow, I, there's all these things that I need to, to grow myself and heal myself as a person. Anyway, once you... Um, realize these things you want to heal them all at once you know because this is how we are we want to you know just do it all at once and we're kind of impatient so the best advice that i can give is take one thing at a time if you want to start eating a raw food diet you know i'm an all or nothing kind of person so i you know when i wanted to go raw well i didn't just go raw okay first i needed to figure out like when I was about 21, 22, that what I was eating was not making me feel good. And I was like, okay, what do I need to change? So then I took out um, meat. Then I took out gluten. Then I took out dairy. Then I took out cooked foods. So this happened over a year's period of time. And that's what I'm saying. Then you go raw from vegan to, to raw. You know, it's a process. So you do what your body can handle, you know. And then I fasted a lot. And I don't really need to fast anymore because... I just don't feel that I have to fast. Anyway, I know I, my mind's just going and going with this, but I just want you to know, to do one thing at a time. Then your body, your mind, your spirit, everything can integrate that one thing. Then you go to the next. Once that one is a habit that is a part of you already, then you move on to the next thing. Don't try to do it all at once because you will not get anything done. You'll, you'll be overwhelmed. Okay, so I didn't want to make this video too long, but now it's too long. So, thank you so much for watching. Um, I really hope that this helped you. If you have any questions or comments, leave them below the video. I will get back to you as soon as I can. Also, if you have any um, suggestions for videos that you'd like to see, please put them in the comments below. Um, you can also email me through my website. Um, I will take into consideration some suggestions. Oftentimes, spirit speaks to me and tells me what to do on any particular day, but sometimes um, the video ideas and suggestions are very relevant to that time and will help a lot of people, so then I'll, I'll choose those ones. So thank you for watching. If you would like to schedule a spiritual guidance session with me, please go to my website, which is also below the video, and um, I hope you have a wonderful day. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.